you're very likely going to end up with processing chemicals. You're very likely going to end up with heavy metals. You may end up with damaged proteins. So it's really important that you don't skimp or you don't cut corners on a good protein supplement. And even if you have to pay a little bit extra, it's worth it. Eat less of it, but pay extra. And that's the one world way. It might be a little bit pricier than other forms of whey protein. By the way, I get no benefit. I have no financial interest in this at all. Uh, I'm just telling you, telling you guys this because it's a great supplement. It's the one I use. It tastes great, and Stephen does great work, and so you're going to benefit his. Uh, you're going to benefit him, but also. Uh, also, it's a great source of protein, and of course, whey protein is the most powerful protein going, with the possible exception of egg. Egg and whey protein are the two most important proteins going, and if you're not supplementing with whey protein, folks, you are truly missing the boat on a good protein supplement. Uh, there are some folks, of course, who are going to have problems, a little bit of problems with whey protein. There's usually a little lactose in there, so if you're lactose intolerant, you may have an issue. Um, the, more active, the more active your protein is, the more likely it is is that you're going to have some kind of allergic reaction. That's always a possibility. If you can't do whey, if you find that you're, you feel bloated or, or uncomfortable when you do whey, you have a couple options. You can do less whey. You can do less concentrated whey. Sometimes that helps. You can also do your whey protein with enzymes, and sometimes that helps. And you can also make sure that you're doing a little swig of apple cider vinegar or you're taking your ultimate enzymes with bile salts after your whey protein, uh, the bi- uh, sorry, with uh, betaine, betaine HCL, which acts as an acidifying agent. You can take betaine HCL as an acidifying agent, and that sometimes can help you also. If you do your egg protein you may, and you find that you have uh, some digestive distress associated with your egg protein or you're breaking out or you have some kind of allergic response, again, you can do your eggs uh, with, with enzymes or with apple cider vinegar. That can help with the absorption. Or sometimes if you do raw eggs, you will find that you don't have a reaction, whereas if you did scrambled or cooked eggs, you did. And by the way, when it comes to eggs, you or all protein, really, the more you cook, the less value that protein is going to have. Uh, with the exception of meat, where if you cook your meat a little bit, you may help sep- help break up the amino acids and help make them uh, a little bit more accessible. But you definitely don't want to overcook your meat. Uh, you don't want your meat to be uh, to be overcooked or uh, or even well done for that matter. Uh, steak tartare is also great. In any case, the One World Whey protein tested out really clean. This is all on uh, Mike Adams' website, naturalnews.com, and he does say here. Uh, that the exception, uh, he says here, uh, he says here he stopped consuming all vegan proteins altogether. And again, that's because of the heavy processing that's associated with these proteins. I go to these food shows and, and supplement shows and raw, in, raw materials and ingredient shows once or twice a year. And I'll always talk to the protein folks, the folks who are selling protein, uh, and protein raw materials, pea protein, soy protein, uh, bean proteins. There's all these various proteins. And I'm always astounded at the amount of processing that it takes to extract proteins out of legumes and out of vegetables, and vegan proteins are the most heavily processed of all proteins. So you think you're doing well by being a vegan and you're getting your protein from, from rice or from soy, and what you're missing, what, you're, what you may be uh, not taking into account is the fact that these kinds of proteins are super, super heavily processed. The more processed a protein is, the more likely it's going to be to be broken down, the more likely it's going to be to have uh, processing chemicals and even heavy metals as well. Uh, And as Mike says, that's true about all vegan proteins, with the exception of hemp protein, which if you're vegan and you're not doing egg and you're not doing whey, that is the best source of protein, vegan protein, uh, um, the best source of vegan protein, hemp seed protein. Uh, let's see what else I want to tell you. Got uh, open lines for you. Nobody's on the line, so we're going to continue talking about cysteine. Uh, if you do want to get on board, now is your chance. Eight five five six six zero forty two sixty one is our number. We'll just continue talking about cysteine. If you don't have any questions or you don't have any comments, we'll just. I got lots to say here um, about this very important amino acid, this very important sulfur amino acid, cysteine, which is found in dairy. It's found in eggs. It's found in all animal proteins. Uh, and as I was saying before we went to break, it is conditionally essential, but it's probably a good idea to supplement with it. Cysteine is a very, very powerful detoxic- detoxification amino acid, especially for radiation toxicity. Uh, and it's also very important, believe it or not, for building connective tissue. We talk a lot about building connective tissue on this program. Building connective tissue is unspeakably important when it comes to anti-aging. Remember, you've got four types of tissue in the body. If you look at the body, you think about the body, it looks like it's kind of
kind of confusing, and there's all these working parts. You got all the muscles and all the bones and all the, the, the blood vessels and the nervous system, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it can be kind of overwhelming, but really, this, the body is only made up of four parts. How do you like that? The body is only made up of four parts. It's got the bulk of the body, which is connective tissue and muscle tissue. It's wired with electricity. That's the nervous tissue. And the whole thing is coated, is candy coated with epithelial tissue. That's your entire body, folks. Connective tissue, muscle tissue blended together. It's wired with nervous tissue, the nervous system that electrifies the whole thing. And then it's all coated with something called epithelial tissue. And that's how our bodies are made up. Why is this important? Well, if we're looking at each other and we see that we appear to be getting older, if we're looking in the mirror and it looks like we're getting older, well, that's a connective and muscle tissue issue. That involves the connective tissue and the muscle tissue. In fact, the visible signs of aging, the vast majority of the visible... Oh, now, now you guys are all calling. Great. Okay, we'll get your calls here in a second. Here. Let me just finish this up real quick. Uh, the vast majority of uh, the signs of aging, the wrinkling and the shriveling and the shrinking and the contraction that takes place, all of this is connective tissue and muscle tissue. Connective, tiss- connective tissue and muscle tissue are the stake of the body. If you look at a stake... You'll see muscle tissue and connective tissue. The muscle tissue is the pink stuff, and the the white stuff that's wired through the so-called marbling, that's the connective tissue. Fat is a type of connective tissue, by the way. It's the blend of connective tissue and muscle tissue that accounts for all of the visible signs of aging. And understanding how to build the connective tissue, muscle tissue complex, mostly the connective tissue, is the key to keeping your body strong and healthy and looking good. And I've been in the skincare business for a long time, folks, and let me tell you something. There's nothing more important for keeping your skin wrinkle-free than building your connective tissue and your muscle tissue. And using cysteine and using these sulfur amino acids and, and, and uh, supplements like glutamine can be very, very important in this regard. All right. We're coming back with your phone calls. Stay on the line. Don't go away. 855-660-4261 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs believes virtually all disease states can be backtracked to digestive problems. Deficiencies in stomach acid can affect all downstream systems. Taking digestive enzymes can be amazingly helpful for dealing with deficiencies in stomach acid. Enzymes require low pH for activation. You can also use aloe vera juice, by the way. Sugars in aloe vera have a coating effect on the digestive system. Longevity has a cool product called Noni Plus, which is made from aloe and the noni fruit. It's tasty. It can also function to support digestive acidification, acidification of the stomach, and activation of digestive enzymes. Take pharmacist Ben's advice and support your digestive system by ordering Noni Plus from Longevity. Call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 or on the web at brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com. Order today. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. 
First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. G-C-N. All right, we are back on the bright side. 855-660-4261 is our number. You guys try to call earlier so we can get to as many calls as we can. i got a whole bunch of folks who want to talk to us now, and we only have a couple of minutes, so we'll try to get to everybody here. Uh, hopefully we'll try, to get, we'll try to get to all our calls, but it helps if you call in earlier, and that way we can give you as much time as you need. I hate rushing through phone calls. RC in California, what's up, buddy? Hi, I got a friend who we have a mutual friend in the I have seen this lady coming to the gym and hadn't seen her for about three months, and I saw her, and she just looked awful. I mean, just, like, really heavy, and just she was a runner. And anyway, he told me that she has something called Pick's disease, P-I-C-K-S. Pick's uh, disease. Frontal huh? temporal dementia disease. Say it one more know, time. Like, so they got all these darn disease. names for diseases, but say it one more time yeah, until I figure well, out what this is. The... The generic, I guess the easy term, the layman's term is PIC disease. I'm sorry, you just cut out. What kind of disease? PIC. P I C K S. Oh, PIC's disease. I was saying PIC's disease. You mean P as in Paul? PIC's PIC disease. Yes. P I C K S. PIC's disease, right? Yes. Oh, okay, now that's different. That's a kind of brain disease. I, I think you're just talking about PIC's disease, like. Um, like a Lyme disease or something. Yeah, Pick's disease is an Alzheimer's. Is a type of Alzheimer's disease or a version of Alzheimer's disease. Is that what you're talking about? Like a brain issue? Yes, exa- exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like it's basically dementia. You know, Alzheimer's disease is a type of dementia. Uh, there's various dementias. When you have dementia, you're basically your brain is degenerating. Your brain is messed up. So what do you right. do? Well, it's the same thing as you do for osteoporosis or you do for autoimmune disease or you do for any disease. You've got to focus on what is causing neurons or brain cells to break down. Remember, all disease is cell disease. So the first thing you want to do when you have a, a degenerative disease, and a degenerative disease is a disease that doesn't get better. That's the definition of a degenerative disease. If you have dementia or any other kind of degenerative disease, you want to focus on the cells. All disease is cell disease, right? If it's osteoporosis, it's bone cell disease. If it's fibromyalgia, it's muscle cell disease. If it's uh, Pick's disease or Alzheimer's, it's neuron disease, nerve cell disease. What causes a cell to break down? What causes a cell to be sick? Remember, you guys, a cell is very complicated. A cell has got millions of working parts, and all of these millions of working parts have to be structured and organized just so. If you look at a cell, if you zoom in to, with your mind's eye at a cell, you're going to see an amazing little system, and that system requires energy in order to do its work. It requires energy in order to maintain its structure and organization. As that cell becomes de-energized, it starts to break down, and this is disease. That's it, folks. Why, do you, why isn't your doctor telling you about it? Because he can't do anything about it. That's why doctors don't tell you that all disease is cell disease, because they can't do anything 
about cell disease. Cell disease requires taking care of whatever is blocking that cell from getting nutrients, blocking that cell from getting oxygen, blocking that cell from uh, detoxifying itself. All cell disease is toxification, starvation, suffocation. This leads to inflammation, which causes more toxification, starvation, and suffocation, which causes more inflammation, and onward we go in the downward spiral of degeneration. So what do you do? First of all, we got to break that cycle. That means for your friend or the guy, the lady with the Pick's disease, number one, we